Okay, uh, I still would they win article and be for Nigeria court. I think we win to move for American court. And um, what happened? Let me give you the gist. So, on the 2nd of August, article filed a case in the American court challenging the Chicago State University to bring out the certificate of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu. Now, this is it. When Tinubu presents a form to INEC, he submitted a diploma result from Chicago State University that he has, that was issued to him in 1979. In you know, another result show online. Now, be that people want to call the say the result went to the bus submit. Now, woman get her. Now, this that some names not correct. This and that. So, I think we went to court. If first of all, ask Chicago State University to give him the real result. Say the one where we receive from Nigeria now. Would they hear rumor? Say now, woman get her. Say story day. Say something's not add up. So, he told Chicago State University to give him the real result. Say one call shaker. Because for Nigeria, yeah, if you submit forged results to IMEC, if you disqualify you from the election, how do we know the result that Tinubu is submitting is real or is forged? Is if Chicago State University give us the real result where they get, may we compare with this one where chairman send that yeah. Chicago State University said they're not fitting a personal document. So I think we went to court in America asking the court to tell Chicago State University, say, may they give her the result. If fire that motion, on the 2nd of August, immediately filed the motion. Where President Tinubu here for Nigeria said, he not a charge Chicago State University to cause for that side. President Tinubu's lawyer filed a motion too. Said they won't join the case. The court said, you are welcome to join the case. President Tinubu's lawyer said, Atiku cannot ask for his result. Why? There's Atiku not need the result. Say so when in five case for tribunal here, say not at the Bush certificate join the case. Say that during the course of the case, now they bring up the issue. And that case don't pass. The courts don't they don't they judge the case already. I think we'll say, my brother, whether I file out for the case or not, I can decide to bring it as a new evidence for Supreme Court after a court judgment, which is the tribunal. He can decide to bring it as a new evidence in Supreme Court. And according to the Electoral Act of Nigeria. 2022, Supreme Court will accept it as a new evidence. The court in America said, yes, I think we are very correct. So therefore, the court ordered Chicago State University to produce Tinubu's results and hand it over to Atiku within two days. Two days. Let me show you the news. A United States court in Eastern Illinois has ordered the Chicago State University to release the academic records of President Bola Tinubu to his rival presidential candidate. In the 25th February election at Siku Abubakar, Jeffrey Gilbert, a U.S. magistrate judge, gave the ruling on Tuesday, ordering the university to produce all relevant and non-privileged documents to Atiku within two days, according to Premium Times. On 2nd of August, Atiku filed an application requesting from the university the academic documents of Mr. Tinibu. Atiku, a former vice president of Nigeria, is challenging the authenticity of the Chicago State University diploma Mr. Tinubu presented to the INEC before the election. The former vice president, president argued that, among other things, a second Chicago State University diploma has since emerged, dated June 27, 1979, that bears the name of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, but also presents with a different font punctuation seal and signatures than the June 22, 1979 diploma among all the alleged discrepancies. Mr. Atiku told the U.S. that he wanted to authenticate this document, whether a Chicago State University diploma in the name of Bon Ahmed Tinubu dated June 22, 1979 that was submitted to the INEC before the Nigerian presidential election in February 2023 is genuine or was forged. Atiku added that under Nigerian law, the submission of a fraudulent document to the INEC would have disqualified the president Tinubu from participating in the election. When Atiku filed his application in the U.S. District Court on 2nd of August, his petition challenging the presidential election was pending before the Nigerian Presidential Election Petition Tribunal. Therefore, Atiku said his application in the U.S. Court was to obtain discoveries that would support his petition in the Nigerian Court of Appeal. Court documents show 
that a day after Atiku's application was filed, President Tinubu filed a motion to join in the suit. The judge granted the motion to intervene on 7th of August. In his intervention, Mr. Tinubu contended that the discovery Atiku sought was not relevant to the Nigerian proceedings because issues regarding his educational background were not refreshed specifically in Atiku's petition filed with the Court of Appeal. Those matters, instead, were raised in Atiku's reply materials filed in support of the petition. Mr. Tinubu told the U.S. Court, adding that the Nigerian Court of Appeal declined to consider issues related to Mr. Tinubu's educational background that had not been included in petition, but rather were belatedly raised for the first time in Atiku's petition. Atiku responded that in his intended appeal, of the presidential election petition court decision, the Supreme Court of Nigeria could consider new evidence in exceptional circumstances under the Nigeria Electoral Act of 2022 and or in his discretion. And it provides a declaration to that effect from his counsel in the Nigerian proceedings. The court said it agreed with Atiku. The former vice president requested four documents from Chicago State University. They are one, true and correct copies of an exemplar of a Chicago State University diploma issued to President Tinubu in 1979. Second, intervenous diploma issued in 1979. Third, any exemplar of a Chicago State University diploma that contains the same font, seal, signatures, and wordings as contained in Exhibit C to the first new declaration, which purports to be a CSU diploma issued to Mr. Tinubu on or about June 22nd, 1979. And number four, the CSU document that were certified and produced by Jama or an associate general counsel at CSU, as well as communications relating to these documents. In this ruling, the U.S. court said, for all of the reasons discussed above, Atiku Abubakar's application Post 1 to 28 USC 1782 for an order directing discovery from Chicago State University for use in the foreign proceedings. ECF number 1 is granted. Respondent, Chicago State University shall produce all relevant and non-privileged documents in response to request for production. The deposition of respondents, corporate designing shall proceed Within two days of the production of documents, the parties can modify the date set by the court by mutual agreement. Given the tight time frame under which the parties are operating, the deposition can, if necessary, occur on a non-weekday, the court added. You see, uh, court case now for Widow Swamp the level. Because I don't understand that article that they pay plenty sand for Nigeria here. Yeah. If they pay plenty sand for America, I don't know until they do, but it's going to court. And he has won the case in America. So they are going to give him the result. If the result were they give up, saying that the world will give Tinubu be this so if the demand for the world with Tinubu they tend that a problem good day. It means the world with chairman they tend that here is a false result. That's why secondly, other president Tinubu, if you are clean, why are you afraid? If you know, because as I there now, I run for local government chairman, for example, I go win election. I show you my results. I have a bachelor's in chemical engineering. You tell me, say, I'm fake result. Umbaru, go to my university, go and tell them. Let them give you. Because now they give me this one. And it is the same thing. You understand? Unless I know. Say, my brother, this result that they present to you, get killed. Now go call the fight for court. So I really don't understand why the president fired to be part of the suit. In America, because the case don't really concern an article with the university. But maybe he not trust the results. I don't know. I'm just saying maybe. No, people go talk the way go put me for trouble. Anyway, they are going to issue that result to Atiku. Atiku will just oppose it with the result which a man gets here. And they will file it before the Supreme Court. If not the same thing, that means they don't waste money paying lawyers. But if different, they. Hey!